Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? I'm going to talk about something that is massive and something that you probably think you know how to do, but you it's one of those things you tell yourself when you need to do. You know it's probably good. You don't do it. I'm talking about how to frame your goals. You know, doing your goals so that you give clear directions in goals, not only just financially based or where you want to be in 10 years time. I'm talking about goals that you can practically frame for both time frame and lifestyle category. I'm not talking about some uh, some dried up crusty New Year's resolutions you made and you've already broken and not done like 20, 30, 100 times already. I'm talking about clear guidance that you can view daily because Brian Tracy tells you that you need to view your goals every single day, read them out to yourself every single day. I don't even do that. I only do it multiple times a week, but I still look at them almost daily. So there's never a point where I'm sat there and I think, oh, what should I be doing right now? I've got nothing to do. I never have that point where I think oh, I've got nothing to do. I know that there's always something I could be working on, whether it's a new career, a skill. There is always, always stuff to do when you know what your goals are. And you know what your goals are not only to do today, not only to do this quarter in the space of three months, to do for next year, to do for years in the head. I'm going to show you my list in a second. I've got a four year plan. People might argue against doing some long term goals. They might be like, oh, but you know, life is unexpected. You don't want to plan everything out. You don't, yeah, of course. Are you kidding? Life, of course, life is unexpected. Of course, I'm not planning this is how it's actually going to be in four years' time. But you're giving yourself something to aim for. It's all about giving yourself something to aim for. Anything can happen. And that is amazing. It's going to be unexpected whether or not you plan for it. But at least planning for it puts, gives you a greater likelihood that you're not going to autopilot, relax, and in a few years' time, it's just going to appear out of nothing. And you've got nowhere, and you've got nowhere toward where you want to be. As you push toward you want to be, yeah, things are going to hit you. They're going to be unexpected. And things are going to change, of course. That's the nature of life. The only thing in life that is guaranteed is change. You still want to go towards something that you want as opposed to just let yourself blow around like a leaf in the wind and be the, the effect of your life. That things are happening to you rather than you are making them happen. Besides, life is more unexpected when you're taking risks and you're doing things that are out of your comfort zone. Not surprising at all your life when you're just doing things that make you feel comfortable and bad habits and staying in your comfort zone and not putting yourself out there or doing anything out of the ordinary. Anyway, let's jump into it. All these successful people have said you've got to have goals, but when you sit down with that pen or keypad to hand, you can't really think of a clear thing that you want other than basic needs that everyone wants. You know, going nice holidays, having more money, having a girlfriend or partner if you don't already, having multiple girlfriends. A lot of us will say we want to live on a beach and be a millionaire. But actually having too big a goal is demotivating and it makes you feel bad and you feel confused on how to reach it. You need staggered steps. What I propose today isn't completely original. It isn't this is some idea that I came up with, but I've added my own little touch to it. I'm recording this right now. It's like mid-June. We're at the point where we're halfway through the year, okay? So you got to think, what are your remaining goals for the rest of the year? We have a big six months to accomplish things before 2023. I know I have a huge amount of plans that I want to accomplish in that time. What are yours going to be? So I, before thinking about rushing to write things down, the first things that come to your head, first of all, write down the categories, whether this is on a computer. I use Notion, which is sick. Uh, watching like Hamza's video recently made me really get into Notion. It's, I just think it's the most fun. It's free. It's so easy to use. And I like how when you tick the box, I'll show you in a bit, the goal that you've completed doesn't go away like it does on Asana. It stays there so you can see, yes, I've accomplished that. So it's not completely original, but I'd, I'd categorize your goals in terms of health, wealth, relationships, higher purpose. You've probably heard that saying before, that expression before. Then I also have one more. I put location as well. And I put location for the fact that location is massive when you reflect on your life. Have you got to a better or worse place in the last year? Have you stayed in the same place in the last year? Have you been to any new countries, had any more new adventures? Maybe you haven't left your continent yet. You haven't left the continent of America or the continent of Europe. And you're waiting on that life-changing trip. You're planning it. Add it to your goals. 
have the ambition to be somewhere else. What you'll notice is when you get older, like what I've noticed recently, I'm 24 now, but I've noticed recently how quick time goes. And it's even more so as you get older because the years are no, no longer as long in the perspective of your life. Well, what makes you tell apart one year from the next? I know for me, it's holidays. I think 2016, I did a sick hitchhiking holiday with my friend. I think 2019, I went to Thailand. 2018, I went to Japan. At the end of 2021, I went to America. These are the parts that, it's like different chapters of your life. If you go traveling to different countries, that breaks apart that time frame, that monotony of being in the same place all the time. This is why location is massive. If you want to look past on back on your life and think, oh, I did rich things at every age, here and here and here. You don't want to think, I spent a whole 10 year period at the same place, not going anywhere, going to leisurely places that I've already been multiple times before. Not going anywhere new and outside my normal reality. And your reality is going to be very boring. That's why you should add a location to your list of goals. So right here, I've got my life plan. This is my YouTube statement, my mission. YouTube mission is help people live more real, enlightened and conscious lives to them using self-development tools of growth. If you mention your purpose and mention it about other people, you know, you don't just get caught up in this web of thinking alone. So what I like about Notion, you can change this here. You can customize it, make it look nice. You can uh, write down your goals. These are my goals at the moment for Q4. I've already moved to my new flat. I've already getting my YouTube started again. I'm doing my dopamine detox as we speak. I'm working on my physique. I'm gonna pass my Salesforce admin license so I can get um, good jobs. So, you know, a good remote job well paid to do today things i need to do today basic stuff some notes for work i need to improve the bedroom put artwork on the walls write more youtube content you know i've got my this is my goal categories that i mentioned guys so as you can see i've got a four year plan i've got a rest of the year plan i've got what i need to get done today and then i've got my goal categories physical mental health Start running again. Quit smoking and vaping. Stretch with yoga routines. Wealth. Start putting aside some savings. Relationships. Move into a new flat with my girlfriend. Go on memorable experiences and adventures with my mates. Leisure and habits. Read more. Location. Move into a new flat. Visit three countries and work remotely like I'm doing now. So guys, this is what I'm talking about. You know, you need to have a clear vision of, right, this is what I'm doing, this is where I'm going. This means I won't get bored. And then you might ask the question, okay, but I don't know what I'm going to be doing in four years time. I really have no idea. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing in four years time. I don't know who I want to be. I don't know. I have no idea what career I want to do. I'm in university at the moment. I don't know what I want to study. Well, you must want something. Everyone wants something. Okay. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. You want something. I'm not telling you that you have to plan out the exact the four years in exact detail. It took me a long time to make that list and really figure out what I actually wanted. But I know you want something. So work back from that. If in 10 years time you want to have a big house, you want to have a wife, you want to have kids. If in 10 years, whatever you want, there's something that you want and you can work back from that point, okay? Close your eyes now right, and visualize it. Like, close your eyes right now, just think, what sort of environment do you want to be in? Are you outside? Are you in nature? Are you in somewhere really cool architecturally? Architecturally, Are you surrounded by family? Both older and younger generations? Who are you with? Who are you having a laugh with? How do you feel? That alone is something to get started with. You can easily do that. Then you can work back. Then you can start getting excited. Okay, I think I know what I want to do. But what are the steps that I'm going to have to learn to get me there? And it's this process of learning and evolving and reaching this step and achieving that goal and realizing the goal itself wasn't that great. It was striving for the goal that was the answer that made you feel so good. Then you look for new goals. You start growing and the idea, you start leveling up and everything starts expanding a bit more. You know, I did a video a few videos back saying, don't find your purpose. Just find what mission you want to have. What's your mission going to be? What are you going to try and work on and achieve now? Because it's not about having some purpose going to make you feel better. We're all going to have hard times. But what is that North Star? 
I'm not saying you're going to find something that you love doing. You're going to make you feel amazing all the time. No, what are the problems need fixing? Write the list of that. Things you got to do today. Things I got to do today. That's not my exciting goal page. That's my, oh, I got to do this. But when you put it in the context of your long-term goals, you know you've got to achieve this to get there. Look what I say on that page that I just mentioned. My to-do page. Look what it says here. If you can't meet today, then tomorrow will not be built. If you can't meet these typical things that you don't really want to do, you want to put off and just relax, put off and feel good, put off and not eat right, then you don't get the goal category. You don't get to achieving and mastering each category, location, purpose, relationships, worth. And you certainly don't get to achieving everything you need to do by the end of the year. I'm not going to show you, but achieve the massive, massive tasks that you want to achieve. You certainly don't get here in the dream life in five to four years. I'm not showing you because I don't want to give it all away yet, you know? My grander vision, that's something I want to keep to myself for now. But anyway, guys, I hope this has been helpful. Now you know how to have goals. Now you know there's always something that you can do. There's always something you can be learning. And you're on this process, this mission of getting everything that you want. Even if you get there and realize it doesn't make you happy, this mission, this process is so wonderful. One day when I'm in a lot better of a better position than I am, I'm going to look back to this and think, I'm so glad that you did that step today that you did that thing that you need to get done today. That's what's life about, baby. And that's what's gonna make you so grateful when you're older. Thank you guys, big love. I'll see you soon, back in a bit.